Catherine here from Creative Pages with Catherine answering a viewer question from Lynn about the bookshelf decorative border punch that was recently released with our School Days collection. This one is one of our edge type decorative border punches and I'm going to show you here when you take the punch out of the box it looks like this. All of our punches have a way a release on them so that way when you unfold them you pull it to the right to lock it back in place you pull it to the left so it lays flat on your shelf i'm going to go ahead and get this one opened up they also have the black lines right here on either side that is where you're going to place your paper into your punch when you go to put it in so how do i know this is an edge punch when you look at the metal part of the punch you can see where the metal is continuous with the bookshelf that we're going to be punching out as well as along the bottom edge so that means that the paper is going to stay pretty much everywhere there is metal and it's not going to stay where the area is open so i hope this helps to explain a little bit more about our punches i have pulled out one of our index sheets this is, I think, from the Call to Serve collection. And I'm going to go ahead and line it up in my punch along the black line. I'm actually going to go ahead and do it from the left side this time to show something a little different than I did in the rustic truck. And you need to seat your paper all the way to the back of the punch. There's a little ledge that will help hold your paper in place where it needs to go line it up i'm going to lining it up with the black line you don't line it up with the edge of the punch and let's punch and then you pull it out a little bit you scoot it over and you line up your picture here on either side of your punch so you can punch either from the right or from the left and here we go And it's normal if your punch is new, you will have a little bit of oil that will come out on your paper as you punch it. Completely normal. It's a lot of times it's a good idea to use an index sheet like this because essentially this is basically a free sheet of cardstock. Okay, there we go. I have just a little extra piece I'm going to cut off from the top of that book over here just from where I had lined it up in the punch sometimes you do just get these little extra bits and you can see where I have essentially the rest of my paper here this is what is punched out from the punch just some extra little rectangles and things we're going to scoot that over because I'm going to bring in my 12 inch trimmer now and we are going to cut this right at an inch and a quarter which is where I cut it in the other video. Maybe we'll do an inch and a half this time. Why not? Let's do something a little bit different. We'll have essentially a slightly larger bookshelf, if you will. So I'm lining it up with the top of the book, top, the top book. And we're going to go ahead and cut. And you can see where we wind up with just a little bit of extra cardstock here at the bottom. And now, Lynn's other question was, she asked me if I ever punch on white cardstock and color in the punch. And so, well, first of all, I want to show you all, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. You can see there's almost like a little bit of an outline over here on some of these beginning punches with the oil that I was talking about. Like I said, it's completely normal to have that. I am going to actually bring this back in. And I know it kind of makes it disappear a little bit on my desk, but bear with me because I'm going to bring in several of my micro tip pens. You can currently get the black, navy, and brown in a bundle. The green has sold out, but I just thought it would be a nice addition to what our books might be on the shelf. 
I also have several of our dual tip pens. And the reason I like the Creative Memories pens are because they are safe to use in our scrapbooks. So you don't have to worry about this border being right next to a photo and having any issues with your photos later down the road. So I'm actually going to try to keep my pens from rolling around on my desk. I just want to do this end of the border here to show you all a quick example of what you can do with your pens with white cardstock. I'm going to add a little bit of detail here as if our books are on a wood shelf. And we're just going to add some stripes here through this. And you can see I definitely, I don't color in the lines when I design my scrapbook pages. So why would I color in the lines when I'm actually coloring, which is why I put the extra piece of paper under it, frankly. Um, the fine point of the micro to pen can be good maybe if you have, say, a brown colored spine up here that you want to highlight on your bookshelf. But I thought maybe the micro tip pens might work a little bit better for that detail work. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these in. I've got the green one here. And I guess our papers can stay probably white. But we want to add maybe a little bit of definition to those. So we might go ahead and use our brown for that. So I'm going to randomly color in a few of my books green here and then I'll probably do a few with the navy and a few with the black because I guess it's more those traditional older book spines have those variety and colors don't they So here is my quick colored in bookshelf. I did add a little bit of black around. I don't know if you guys saw me using the black micro tip pen to give it a little bit of extra highlighting in between our books just to give them that little bit of extra definition. And then I added the colors in between. Let me put this behind here probably on a place so you can see this is why I used <laughs> an extra sheet behind me in part because I wanted to try to do it kind of quickly but also it does get a little bit messy we have these little oh you know where I said we had all those little rectangles come out from our punch the these little silver areas is everything that came off of our punch and that's where you have the holes that you're coloring around as well. So, you know, I had some brown books. I have some red, green. It looks like I needed every color pen that I pulled out. So that's what I used. I used our red, our navy, our green, our brown. And so you can definitely color in your books however you want. On the ones I realized afterwards that they are laying down, you kind of do want to get on both sides of this hole if you will the um open space hang on let me grab a little bit of red card stock so maybe that'll highlight it even more so you can see what the difference is between the red behind it versus that other white but essentially this is one section and you can take the time to color in as many sections as you want or you can see as in my short i 
punched it out on a dark green cardstock. It gives you more of a shadow effect on your page, if you will. You can tell that they're books, but you know, it's maybe not as dramatic as having a colored bookshelf with different colored books on it. And of course you can make your books whatever color you would like them to be. So this turned out to be a little bit of a longer answer, Lynn, but I hope this did address both of your questions kind of in one video. And I'll look forward to seeing what other questions you all come up with for me as well. Until next time.